The DRDO has developed a next-generation radar warning receiver for the Super Shukhoi program, and it will soon be integrated by Hindustan Aeronautics on a Su-30 fighter jet to complete the certification process in the next one-year period. This complete activity will be performed in three phases. In the first phase, a mechanical mock-up of the next-generation wideband receiver units will be placed on a Su-30 aircraft by removing the existing radar warning receivers and a feasibility study will be conducted on the electrical systems. In the second phase, the actual system will be integrated on the Su-30, and in the third phase, the Su-30 aircraft with the next generation radar warning receiver will be tested for various scenarios. Russia has offered the critical air independent propulsion technology that will enable conventional submarines to remain underwater for extended time, that will meet Indian Navy's requirement of Project 75I, and has suggested that given the complexity of the submarine project, the technology transfer can be done only under an intergovernmental agreement. Russia has offered its more class submarines on the basis of an intergovernmental agreement, with joint design prototype construction and transfer of full intellectual property rights, and India will not be limited to build six submarines, and can build unlimited number of submarines with the transferred technology. The Indian Air Force is planning to keep the 60 upgraded Darin III standard Jaguar fighters in service till 2034, and will start retiring the older unupgraded aircraft from 2024, that have nothing to do with lack of engine upgrade options, as the earlier batches have completed their airframe life, and were not upgraded and not planned to be equipped with new higher thrust engines. The upcoming 17.5-ton Tejas Mark II fighters will start induction from 2028 onwards, that will also start replacing the Jaguar Strike aircraft retired Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 new PG fleet from 2035. The Army has 90 advanced light helicopters and 75 Rudra armed helicopters, and the Army Aviation will soon induct a surveillance downlink system, anti-aircraft missiles and countermeasures against missile systems as well as new generation surveillance pods. The Army Aviation will receive four indigenous light combat helicopters, which will again test the Mistral 2 air-to-air -air missile on a moving aerial target very soon. The Army Aviation will also receive the first two of recently leased four armed Heron drones from Israel in August, and six light utility helicopters by December 2022 and six Apache helicopters in 2023. Pushing for complete indigenization in clothing requirements, the Chief of Defence Staff had recently visited a Bangalore-based clothing manufacturer to ask whether the company could supply sleeping bags, camouflage tents and jackets to the Indian military, and the manufacturer replied that the qualitative and quantitative requirements of the military were designed in such a way that the Indian manufacturers find it difficult to compete in an unfavourable environment. The Army imports gloves from a Myanmar-based company, while the sleeping bags are manufactured by a company in Sri Lanka. At a time when an Indian company is supplying military boots to the Israeli Army, the Indian Army is getting specialized boots made in Italy. The Indian Army has conducted an airborne exercise to validate its rapid response capability, which involved paradrop of paratroopers and combat heavy loads including vehicle-mounted anti-tank and air defense missile detachments over a designated target area from C-130 and AN-32 aircraft. The exercise also validated 72 hours of intense integrated battle drills, involving mechanized forces demonstrating clockwise precision and seamless integration between Air Force Airborne and mechanized troops of the Indian Army.